Hi YouTubers, welcome back to my channel Nasak. Well, last video I showed you how to install latest Apache Guacamole 1.6.0 to your Ubuntu 24.4. The topology will look like this in the lab network server 192.168.30.132 installed Guacamole 1.6.0. The service only available internally in my home network. To expose it to internet, there's a couple ways. One way is using your firewall or router. Directly map your public IP to this 192.168.30.132 or as I can show here, we can use Cloudflare tunnel to directly expose your Guacamole service to internet. And you can access it using browser to access your Guacamole service as your remote access gateway to access your internal resource. So we're gonna use Cloudflare Zero Trust tunnel to achieve that. Uh, you also can search my Cloudflare videos from my channel as well. So I do have quite a few Cloudflare related video to present you the fantastic Cloudflare free services. But this is the one we're gonna use in the Cloudflare Zero Trust VPN tunnel, which I was using to expose RDP service. Now we're gonna expose this Apache Guacamole service to internet. We're gonna use our own domain to access to it. So now let's jump into it. Since my previous video already covered most of the steps and also I do have a blog post to show you the details and the screenshots, um, I'm gonna basically follow those four steps in my video to show you how we can achieve this diagram to show you how to get your guacamole service exposed to internet using your own custom domain to access to it. Assuming you already have your Cloudflare account created before, then you can process with your first step. If you don't have your Cloudflare account, apply for it, it's free. Once you logged in with your Cloudflare account, go to Zero Trust. We're gonna create a tunnel. Go to Networks, Tunnel, and add a tunnel. We're gonna use in Cloudflare D, so select that. Name your tunnel. We're using Quaka only and save the tunnel. Now you will need to install Cloudflare D to your Ubuntu server. So we're gonna download that. This is Windows. If we are using Debian Ubuntu, so we're gonna use in this to get that down. So basically, we're gonna copy this. This is our Apache Guacamole internal side. So we're using 192.168.30.132 access to it and we should be able to access it so that's one way how you can access command line of your server we also can use a windows command line to access to it using ssh command Username and then IP address. So if it's first time, then you should say yes to this fingerprint and then type the password. Switch to the root user. Now we need to install Cloudflare D on our Ubuntu machine. You're gonna copy the command and paste it in. And then install. It should be very straightforward to do. Once it's done, we're gonna use this command to start a service.
it may take a um, couple of minutes to get it done. So we are going to pause the video and come back when it's finished. After two or three minutes, the installation has been completed. You should be able to check the service. The service is running. Now we go to our second step, set up our public host name. So we install our tunnel. We install the Cloudflare D services on our Ubuntu machine. Now we go into our next step. We can choose a subdomain. So we can use this domain. We can use an RTP. Here's the service. So we are using HTTP. 192.168.30.132.8080. Now we complete our setup. So let's demonstrate how we can connect into our Guacamole server 8080 port. We're gonna completely set up. Status is degraded, but that's okay. We're gonna give it a try. Basically, it's working. We can access to it, and we can use in Guacamole portal, and we also can log in. And we also can log in to local. That proves our tunnel is up and we are able to connect it to the internet. The next step is going to be the authentication. So you don't want it to publicly available. You may want to add your own identity provider, such as um, you want to use an email or Azure AD account or Google account to log in. So let it all possible. So we're going to set up our authentication and then I'm using our email address to authenticate to this portal. We created the Guacamole tunnel and we are able to use our public hostname to access to it, rdp.itprosec.com. But we also want to create the application and then use the policy to restrict the access and authenticate it by our own IDP solution or by our email address. So that is zero trust concept here. So we're going to create a new application, self host it. Uh, we're going to call it uh, Guacamole Admin. We already have a public host name. ID Prozac. Then let me add, add a policy for the email authentication because we're gonna use in the email to do authentication. Selector emails. I'm gonna use in my email here. Test policy and see. Go back to the application again, create our application. So we can only use it for a certain domain, which is our DP. It's only gonna use in this path to use our access policy. We're gonna use email authentication policy and we're gonna go next. Port. Okay. Cross origin resource sharing settings. Uh, no change for all of those. We're gonna just go to connect, go to save to create this application. So now we have this escape application. We 
can uh, give it try. Bang. Right away, we gonna receive this zero trust authentication page. There's one thing you need to know because we specified this path. If we don't want to use this path, you will see it works. It will still show you this Tomcat page. That's a Tomcat default page. Because we didn't create the application using the root URL, we have a path. So that's why we got this. Let's finish our authentication. We're gonna use in this email to get a code to log in and check in my email address. Right away, you should get this. So we can copy this in. Make sure there's a no space in front and at the end. You need to sign in. Now we can use our application's password to log in. It's pretty cool. Well, uh, that's pretty much for this video, which shows you how to use a Cloudflare Zero Trust tunnel to expose your guacamole on plan server to internet. Very straightforward to do. Hope you enjoyed it. If there's any questions, just let me know. Thank you for watching. See you in my next time.